Let's look at some problems from section 5.3, which is the fundamental theorem of calculus. Read the book, look at the PowerPoint, watch the videos, but what we are using in this particular problem is part two of the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. This is in your book. It's on page 396. If f is continuous on the integral from a to b, then the integral of f of x from a to b is an antiderivative of f evaluated at b minus an antiderivative of f evaluated at a. So, as an example, let's look at number 27. Here's our integral. It's the integral from 0 to 1. These are our limits of integration. Our function is u plus 2 times u minus 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some algebra first. I'm going to expand this. Now, by the way, for this particular problem, you could actually use the methods of section 5.2 using the summations. But in this particular problem, we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus part two. So what we need is, is an antiderivative. Now this is a definite integral. Okay, so we, we don't need the plus c for this problem. I'll let you think about why that is. So antiderivative of u squared is one third u cubed. The antiderivative of minus u is minus one half u squared. The antiderivative of minus six is negative six u, and our limits are zero and one. So for this particular problem, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, if I plug in one, what I get is one third minus one half minus 6. And of course, if I plug in 0, I get 0. I didn't write that here. The next thing would have been minus 0, which of course is 0. So you combine these terms, you get negative 37 sixths. 